Good morning, this is Rob. Time I vlogged about a couple of things. I've been posting a lot of songs, and um, it's time I talk to you about a few things if you've been watching my videos so that maybe you could understand me better. Everybody likes to be understood, I guess. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about was why do I sing? Um, why do I post these songs on YouTube, on my channel, for all my friends? Um, is it because I think that I'm a great singer? I don't think I am. I think I'm a pretty good singer. I think that I could improve, and I think that I will improve. Um, in this life, and I'm practicing maybe for the next life. I hope in my next lifetime, music will become the center of my life, as it has been in past lives. Um, do I want to become a famous singer? Absolutely not. If I ever get to the point where I can sing like uh, Pavarotti or Sting, I love Sting, by the way, um, I still, it's not part of my life. It's not part of why I was born in the world. So, I'm not posting my music videos up there because I think that somebody will huh, discover me. I don't need discovering. It's not part of why I'm here. Um, I post them because the language of the soul, the language of the soul is not words. It's not words. Um, there's, three, there's three ways that we communicate beyond the physical. Um, one of those is symbols. I really believe someday the human race will evolve to the point where verbal communication, I'm talking thousands of years from now, but verbal communication will be absolute, abs, absolutely obsolete. <laughs> um, it'll be just like it is in the state where we reside 99% of our soul's existence in the higher realms. We don't verbally communicate in those higher realms. We communicate with uh, symbols. We communicate with emotions. In the higher states of existence, when my soul is feeling an emotion and your soul is there, we share that. We vibrate. You feel my emotion and I feel yours and we communicate that way. Um, another way that souls communicate beyond the physical is through vibration. Vibration um, can can manifest itself in music and sound. It can also manifest itself in light. And I have a feeling that it can manifest itself in ways we do not even understand in the physical, but ways that are natural and innate in our true soul's experience. Um, that's why I sing. It's the language of the soul. And I could tell you everything verbally like I'm doing right now, but when I sing a song, like the one I just posted, um, The Rose, I think that if you listen to the words and you feel the vibration of what's being expressed, you get a feeling of love that is far deeper than anything that I could say with words. I feel it. I'm hoping that um, you'll be able to feel it too. Um, when I sing a song like uh, Broken Vow, you know, feeling betrayed in this life and having regrets, that's part of the human experience. It doesn't have to be, but it is. And they in evoke powerful emotions. The song evokes those emotions, and those things may not be happy, but they're part of existence. Uh, the song that I sang, I Dreamed a Dream. Now I changed some of the lyrics, okay? Because I changed the lyrics to express what I wanted to express to you. But that was an extremely sad song. Um, and sadness is not a bad thing. Sadness is part of the human experience, too. When I sang the song Love by Nat King Cole, it was kind of an um, easygoing, joyful kind of song. And those are good emotions, too. I'm trying to give you emotions that reflect the inside of me. That's why I sing. I'm sharing with you a part of myself through songs. Um, and another thing I wanted to vlog about was something that you may not find relevant, but um, I've had a couple of good YouTube buddies like Mooing Cow, Laura, and she's not the only one, but have asked me, why am I not in a relationship? 
and I've tried to explain it, but I don't know if I've explained it well enough. And if you've ever wondered the same thing, um, you can listen. If you haven't, then turn it off. I don't really care. Um, but the truth is, in my lifetime, um, I've already been in a relationship. I was married for eight years, and it pretty much did not turn out the way I had dreamed a relationship would be. First of all, it wasn't satisfying to me because, for one thing, I am gay. Um, so it could never be fully satisfying to me. But that's not the reason why I got divorced. I got divorced because the love that I was expressing to my partner was not being expressed back. And love goes both ways. So um, it's very draining when you're expressing your love to somebody through your thoughts, through your actions, through your words. And you're giving that person your energy, but you're not receiving anything back. And um, even in the form of gratitude, I, I couldn't keep doing that. I, I would probably die an early death if I had done that the rest of my life because it was draining, draining my energy. Um, but also I have to tell you that for me, my primary lesson, one of my primary lessons that I came here to learn in this life was self-acceptance. I've always had a problem with self-acceptance. And just coming to terms with the fact that I was gay um, is enough, you know. And that's one reason I was born into this world in such an anti-gay religion like Mormonism, the LDS Church. Because if I had been born in any other religion or no religion at all, I would probably not have had the baggage that was dumped on me. Um, and I would not have had to struggle with self-acceptance in accepting the fact that I was gay. I do not want to be in a gay relationship. I have to tell you, I don't care if you believe me or not. I have never been in a gay relationship. I've never even had a casual gay relationship. Um, so some people would say, well, then you're not really gay. But I am gay. Do I want to the rest of my life? I don't. I'm coming to terms with loving myself. And um, I can say that I do love myself. And I haven't loved myself before. Not in a way that's arrogant, but in a way that's like I see the child that I used to be. And I love myself as that child. I still am that child inside. I, that part of me never grew up. Um, I'm a teacher. I came here to share things that the world needed to hear, just like many of you are doing. Um, but uh, being in an exclusive relationship is not part of my life planned. And um, I think those are, those are great, but it's not part of my plan. Anyways, um, just wanted to vlog about these things. And I wanted to tell you that I love you. And thank you for listening to my songs because they are a part of my soul. Thank you for letting me share that with you. I'm going to finish my coffee and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.